Welcome back to Space Cadets. So far, we've transformed a disused airbase near Ipswich to appear like an authentic Russian space training camp, right down to the freezing breath. <sighs> Applicants have been rigorously tested for their suitability for the most ridiculous adventure in the history of space travel. Of course, if you're a cadet, it's otherwise known as a five-day mission to orbit the Earth, or so they think. Of course, none of the applicants knew what they're applying for. So how would they react when the time came to name the lucky nine who would join our three undercover actors and go down in history as part of Britain's first televised space tourism programme? Well, this is one of the questions we had to ask their friends and families. During the course of their interviews, we asked all the applicants to nominate someone they trusted implicitly to make a decision on their behalf. Now, once our contestants were in isolation, we travelled the length and breadth of the country to talk to these friends and family. We explained the precise concept of the show, nothing held back at all. And then we asked their permission to involve their loved ones. Without exception, we were given the green light. So, all that remained to be done was for me to tell the lucky nine exactly what they'd let themselves in for. November, Biggin Hill Airport, Kent. The producers have chosen their final nine thrill-seekers. They've been isolated in separate, secret locations for almost two weeks and check in at the airport, hiding their faces from the press. As before, actors Rainey, Steve and Charlie are blending in a treat. From the hundreds of applicants who applied, the final cadets are... Andrew. Astrid. Billy. Actor Charlie. Cheryl. <laughs> Kerry. Louise. Paul. Actor Rainey. Ryan, Sarah Jane, and actor Steve. They're finally about to discover what the show is all about. Well, almost. All right, gang. OK. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to what promises to be quite a night for all of you. Back in June, you know you all applied for a show called Thrill Seekers. Throughout the last uh, five months, you've had no idea what that show was, correct? Yes. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. OK. Now, you were promised a challenge and the ultimate thrill. That's what you were promised, yeah? Yes. Listen very carefully. I'm now going to give you the big picture. You are about to become... the first televised British space tourists. That's right. Let's just go through that again. You can take it in. The very first televised British space tourist. OK. This plane here, it will take you to Russia. Once there, you will undergo three weeks of intensive astronaut training with STAR, the Space Tourism Agency of Russia. You may have seen when billionaires go up into space, they're the boys they use. At the end of your training, a lucky few of you, a lucky few, the best of the best, will be sent into orbit on a five-day space tourist mission. This will not be all of you. You're the 12 who've made the cut to go to Star, OK? And it will all be televised here in the UK. OK, now the producers believe you have what it takes. And they hope you'll continue this adventure by boarding this jet behind me. But you don't have to. I'm going to give you one minute now. Really think very carefully about this. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Your minute is up. I'm now going to ask each one of you in turn whether you're going to take on this challenge. So, uh, Andrew, would you like the chance to go into space? Yeah! <laughs> OK, oh, Astrid, mate. would you like Astrid's the chance? Astrid! <laughs> Billy! <laughs> soul, soul! Charlie! Yes! <laughs> Cheryl! Yes! Kerry, Please. would you like the chance to go into space? Beam me up, Johnny. Beam me up. <laughs> Louise, would you like the chance to yes, go into space? Please. OK. Yes, please. Paul. Let's do it, John. Rainy, would you like the chance to go into space? Uranus, here we come. <laughs> Ryan. Johnny, we love you. Take us to space. Sarah Jane. I'd absolutely love the chance, Johnny. And finishing up with Steve. Oh, try and stop me from getting on that plane. <laughs> OK. You may now board your plane <laughs> and off you pop. <laughs> on you get, John. <laughs> on you get. Go. Thank you. On you get, gang. On you get, gang. On you get. On you get. Yes. Yes. I've had a look at the snacks on board. They're not too good. Things are going to be a bit low budget from now on, but there you go. Take care. Take care. Take care. On you get. Hey! And so our cadets board the plane to start their epic journey from Kent to somewhere near it. <laughs> In a jet plane, I don't know when I'll be back again. On a jet plane, I don't know when I'll be back again. So, no problems getting them on the plane, and they seem to swallow the story. But with four hours' thinking time flying round and round the North Sea, would they still be buying it when they touched down and a small slice of Suffolk was presented to them as a Russian space camp? I mean, put yourselves in their position. Would you fall for it if this man greeted you off the plane? Welcome to Russian military space base, Kremsk. You go to bus. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Convinced me, but what about them? Find out tomorrow night on Space Cadets. And that's at nine. And E4 has its satellite show starting in just a moment. Next tonight, one of the passengers makes an important find in Lost. <laughs>